All right, guys. This is upcoming next video. It's kind of short, but some good finds. There will be an announcement about the next contest after this video, so continue watching so you can find out how to enter that contest. You will be picking my intro for my channel, so please stay tuned. Oh, it's a one dimer. It is a one dimer. Oh man, my silver streak is over, boy. All right, guys, so we're out here again, middle of nowhere. But there's an old maple tree out there, there's a couple old cherry trees back there. There's a couple other big maples around here. There is a cellar hole here somewhere. I just have no clue where it is because it's been worked to put these row pines in. So I'm going to have to find the iron patch. It might be a while before I even get a signal. I might not even find it today. I don't know. We'll see. Like I said, there's always hope. The last one turned out to be great, man. I got so many good relics out of that place. I was really impressed with it. It's never been touched. That's why I come out further this way because we're really out here in the middle of nowhere. There's an old trade grade about a quarter mile that way that runs all the way down that way into Thompsonville. So we'll see how this goes. I'll get back with you on the first target or even if I find the iron patch. Well, no treasures yet, but I did get this. That wasn't a very big one. Check that bad boy out. That'll be the first one I ever found. It's even got all the teeth up in there. Pretty freaking cool. It's even still got some of the antler on it. That's awesome. Oh, drop the tooth. I'm going to get that bad boy. Push that one back in. Heck yeah, add it to the skull collection. Sweet. Well, I guess if I don't find anything, I found this. All right, guys, get back with you on the first target. All right, guys, I got a scratchy 70s signal right here. I think I found the iron patch. See what we got. So it's ringing up deep, like six inches. So we'll see. Yeah, giant piece of copper wire. I don't think that was my signal. We'll have to check it out. Well, guys, we have arrived. I've never seen one like this before. This thing's weird. But it does have writing on the wheels, so at least I'll be able to get semi what a date is. This place is around here. But yeah, that huge tree right there. Bam! And there's another huge one back there. Bam! There's a couple bushes, and I always seem to find them around these raspberry patches, because I think they planted the raspberries to eat way back then. Then after the hole become abandoned, the raspberries just grew wild. So, let me see if I can not get this wheel cleaned off on this. Huh, we have arrived, buddy. Yeah! Alright, this might be another relic roundup. I'm liking it. I'll dig the relics all day. I love the old stuff. Alright, on to the next one. Not but two inches down. A mason jar lid, but check that one out. It's got the iron cross in the middle of it. That's probably the coolest one I ever found. That's the one I'm going to save. All right, guys, I'm going to keep swinging around here. We'll never know. 
All right, guys, so bam. Look at that two piece button. It's got fancy on it, too. Cool. Yeah, buddy, this place has got an iron back, I do believe. No shank. Uh, maybe it might be on there. I highly doubt it. But, yeah, buddy. I know nobody's been out here. This, this is my place right here, so this is going to be a place I am for a couple hours today. I might even get a full video out of this one. A lot of my cellar holes I've been striking out this year. But that is flipping awesome. All right, on to the next one. Well, guys, I don't normally get a lot of buttons anyways. But I got a matcher to that button. What are the odds? I wish they still had a shank on them. Pretty cool, though. I've been pretty much, I got a lot of buttons this year, actually. A lot of buttons. More than I've ever gotten. I got one flat button my second year. And I got four rivets from a set of overalls from the railroad for my first year. So, that's awesome. I'll take it. All right, on to the next one. Guys, I dug an old piece of rusty iron. But look at this beautiful piece of glass I got. It's beautiful. It's like a pink and a purple pearl color. It's awesome. I'm saving that. I don't save much glass. Normally I chuck it, but that's a pretty cool color. It's awesome. All right, guys. I ain't really got much else. Just them couple buttons and them lantern parts. But I also been swinging kind of quick. I did a little clean up and swung underneath that tree real good. And I ain't really got much else. Piece of a broken key. It looks modern, real shiny, so it's new. But, I mean, there's a lot more out here, I'm sure. I just got to find it. So I'm going to keep swinging and see what we get. All right, guys. Got another button, I think. I don't know. I can't tell. It does look like a... Oh, yeah. Oh, no, where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, yeah, look, it's got a moon and a star on it. That's wicked cool. I'm going to tell you what, this place is really turning out to be a good little spot. It's like the one I found the other day, man. It's just a relic roundup today. Most buttons I've ever gotten in one site, I do believe. Let me clean it up a little bit with the brush. Hold on one second. Yeah, guys, and it's got some kind of material or something in there. That thing is wicked cool. Yeah, it's one of those weird buttons. Oh, there might even be a... Oh, no, it's just a little design on the back back there. Yeah. That's a wicked cool button right there, buddy. I'm going to tell you what. It's been a day today. I've been lucky all week. We will be having a giveaway soon. I will let you know probably on the next video what that's all about. So please stay tuned. But yeah, this is an awesome kind of day today. I'm digging it. So, all right, on to the next one. All right, guys, so weird numbers in the hole. Oh, it's right there. Oh, man. Look at that, boy. It's iron with the chain. With the, I don't know exactly what those are called. But that'll be my first like that, buddy. Now, that's a buckle right there. Let me get a better view on it. Oh, yeah, and it's got some writing on it, too. And some fancy. Man, oh, man. Look at that thing. That thing is flipping sweet. Man, this place, I'm going to swing here for a little while longer. I was going to go home, but I just got pumped. So, yeah, let me get back with you guys on the next target. All right, guys, I got a solid 40. Yeah, I'm thinking it's in the plug. Oh, let's see. Oh, there it is. That's what it is. Oh, well. They can't all be winners. On to the next.
Okay, guys, so this is how you enter the contest. This is, you, what you do is you go back to the last three episodes, two before this one and this one. Check out the intros and the outros. Pick which one you like. Whichever one gets the most votes is the one I'll use. And then I'll take all the people that voted for that one, put them in a group, give them a number, and then I'll go with that. And whoever gets number gets picked wins the contest. Then I get an intro that I like, and you guys will actually have one you want to watch. So... Keep stay tuned after this. There's an announcement coming up about the contest winner from the last contest. So just stay tuned. It's after this. All right, guys. Got my list of numbers here. We are going to pick a winner. Whoever is the closest and doesn't go over gets the prize. All right, here we go. Oh, 2013. So who had the highest number? Oh, I'm thinking 1976 is the winner. Red Beam 58. All right, I'm going to put my email address up here for a second. The winner can email me his address. I'll get his package shipped out probably next weekend. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Remember, get some history, and my email address will be posted here for a second so you can see it. Catch you on the next one.